Hey, what's up guys? Matthew Allen here with Adjuster TV and this is the daily briefing for Hurricane Ian for September 30th, 2022, Friday. Um, we have two more um, IA firms that, are, that are, have a shout out for um, work in Florida and in South Carolina, as well as um, some additional information from one of the other ones that we mentioned yesterday. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump straight into this. So the first one we have here is for accelerated adjusting. And <clears throat> these guys have uh, Citizens Property Insurance of Florida. There are several companies that do citizens insurance in Florida. Um, accelerated is one of them. Uh, Paysetter is the other one, and I'll get to those guys in just a sec. Um, but um, they sent back to me and said that you've got to, in order to do citizens, you have to pass a background check, which, you know, obviously if they're asking for people to do citizens and to apply for citizens, that then maybe they have an, an expedited way to do that. Um, so they're looking for field homeowners. Um, if you have more than six months um, and then cat adjuster, um, so, I'm sorry, associate adjuster is uh, experience of s roughly six months, um, and then the cat adjuster, um, which is sounds like it's a, a level above that, which um, is you need an experience of 1.5 or more years. Um, there's some commercial stuff here. Um, if you have five or five or more years or 10 or more years of experience as an adjuster and you want to get into some like large loss commercial, um, give these guys a call. I know that's probably not going to be very many of you, but just throwing that out there. Um, there, there is a lot of commercial work, um, absolutely for this hurricane because it did wipe out, um, huge areas that are, it's not just houses. Um, and they told me that they likely have additional opportunities for um, field homeowners as well as mi middle market commercial um, in North Carolina. Uh, I'm guessing North Carolina, South Carolina um, for uh, additional work, it's depending on kind of how um, what happened, how bad it was when it, when uh, Ian ran back across um, after crossing into the Atlantic and it came back into the Carolinas. Um, you can contact Audrey Norton uh, ask for Audrey, Audrey Norton at 888-904-7674. Uh, and again, all this contact information, all this information is going to be down in the, in the description below where you're watching this video. Um, you can send an email to hr at acceleratedadjusting.com. And then, of course, you can go to acceleratedadjusting.com slash careers um, to apply. And I recommend that you do that with all these companies and not just the ones I'm mentioning here, but every company that you can think of. Uh, Pace Setter. Um, had some uh, updates, basically. They are again looking for citizens, as we just mentioned with Accelerated. Um, they're looking for field uh, QA file auditors, which are gonna be remote role and remote desk adjusters um, who have that citizen's credential through Paysetter. Um, they said that they're taking all levels of experience and experience level will determine how quickly and where they will deploy you. So if you've got zero experience, that doesn't mean that you're not gonna be deployed. It just means that um, the, you may be down the list a little bit. I, I don't think it's gonna take very long to get down the list, um, considering the volume of claims on this event. Um, if, if you're not on Paysetter's roster, then there's a, so a couple of links um, here for getting onto Paysetter's roster. Um, this will be linked below. And then there's, there's a, a link for, if you wanna work citizens claims, there's a link for that down below as well. And then if you are on it, Paysetter's roster, make sure that your adjuster profile is up to date. Um, again, use the link, the, C, the cms.paysetterclaims.net uh, link uh, to update your profile. Um, you can also call their adjuster relations department uh, at 918-665-8887. Um, and again, um, compensation will be driven by a level of experience in the insurance carrier's posted fee schedule. The fee schedules, generally speaking, are driven by the carriers. Um, Paysetter Claims has been in the business for 25 years and has never missed a payroll. Uh, they pay bi-weekly and they pay when the claim is closed, not when they get paid by the carrier. And you're going to find that uh, many of the major firms um, will pay that way um, because they have the resources to do it. Uh, our final um, firm is MidAmerica Cat. And these guys are based out of San Antonio, uh, I believe. 
or Mobile, one or the other, or both. Um, they have remote file review, in-office desk adjusters, and field adjust field adjuster uh, roles available. Um, exact analysis and exact main experience required for file review and field, and it's a plus for desk adjusters. And uh, Florida and a South Carolina South Carolina license are uh, definitely desirable. Um, contact information if you're not on their roster you go to midam midamcat.com slash careers um i'm not sure what these were for um contact info for mid america cat if you are on the roster is this big old long right link right here um and it looks like it's probably for their their adjuster profile dashboard system um, they have multiple clients and opportunities for adjusters and again that goes for remote field everything um, if you're an IA firm and you want to be included in this daily briefing while we continue to do it um, send the following information to adjustertv.com slash contact that's that goes to my direct email um, the role that you need to fill whether it's you know any one or all of the above field remote trainer file review team manager whatever you whatever you guys are lacking just let me know and I'll, I'll put the the signal out here on, on the in this briefing um, experience requirements if any um, email phone or web page uh, for applicants or for people to contact you to get going uh, on on hurricane Ian to help you guys out um, and again, all the details um, are available in the description below where you're watching this video. And um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys right now. Um, again, as, as the uh, sort of the reports start to come back on this storm, it sounds like it was, it's a big one. I, and I've, I've heard more than one person say that it was, it's Katrina 2.0. Um, and Katrina was a, a massive storm. So it did a lot of damage. Um, so. There's work, if you wanna do it, it's here. Um, but this is all I have for you right now. Um, again, if you are a firm, just shoot me an email. Um, if you've got my cell phone number already, just shoot me a text and, and we'll get you into a briefing. I'm gonna try to do this every day. If you don't see this on a day, that means that um, I didn't get any, any more reports. So I, I'll, I'll be passing along information as I get it every evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, but other than that, that's all I got for you guys. If you're on standby, hang in there. If you're deployed, I'm assuming that you're on your way to the coast. So um, good luck, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys later. Thank you for watching. Have a great storm.